Hi everybody, it's me, Sleeved, Short and Sweet. Um, this is my third video in my video diary on my whole process of going through this bariatric surgery, gastric sleeve. Just want to give everybody a really quick update on my progress. I'm still in the pre-op phase. And you think of my last video, I was describing all the different appointments that I had been making. And so on Friday, I had the first of my appointments. I went to have a lot of my tests done. Um, my surgeon ordered like four different tests. He wanted an EKG, he wanted a chest x-ray, he wanted an ultrasound of my GI system, he wanted an ultrasound of my abdomen. Um, so I had everything done on Friday except for the EKG, which is going to be done when I go to see the cardiologist in a couple of weeks. Um, and it was pretty easy. Not a whole lot to tell about it, except if you have to go and get that upper GI ultrasound, you're going to have to drink the nastiest concoction, I don't know what it is, some kind of barium, something or other, it's this thick, white, chalky, nasty stuff that you're going to have to drink. You're going to have to drink like a cup that's like this big, full of it. Um, it was so nasty. Oh my gosh. I'm having flashbacks right now. Like I was sitting there like gagging while I'm trying to do this test and they're taking pictures and it's just gross. But I mean, I think that's probably nothing <laughs> compared to what I'll be dealing with down the road. Um, but as far as my pre-op work goes felt really good to kind of just get the ball rolling and get in for that appointment and the rest of my appointments are coming up within the next few weeks i finally got a call back today from one of the psychologists that i called to try and set up an appointment with the last appointment that i need to make and it's interesting um i had spoken to a couple of offices last week and then with this um doctor that just called me back even though they're on my insurance which is only a ten dollar copay they charge like upwards of two hundred dollars just to write the report to send to my surgeon i thought that was really just whack um and i've gotten that same number some said 250 from a few different doctors so i guess that's standard practice with psychologists so I don't know if there's much of a way for me to get around it, but I guess considering how much this whole surgery costs to begin with, a couple hundred bucks isn't a whole lot, but I'm still going to see what I can do about that and see who I know might be able to help me out and do the evaluation for a lot less than that. Because as some, as some of you may know from other videos, I am a teacher, summer's coming and money gets really tight in summers. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Other than that, that's pretty much all the progress that I've made so far. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. I've still been doing my research. I've been watching other people's videos here and I found one thing that I'm definitely going to do. There's one girl's video, I can't remember her name at the moment, that I watched and one of the things that she did when she started was she went out and bought a bikini and she didn't post her before pictures in the bikini but she showed herself in the bikini. It might have been maybe something like six or eight months post-op and she looked fantastic in it. So I think I'm going to do that. I actually started shopping for a bikini and you best to believe I will not be posting those pictures <laughs> on here. But you will see my after pictures some months after my surgery. So I think I'll do that. And then maybe I'll give you guys something of a full body shot so that you can see what 411 at 218 pounds with a BMI of 44.1 actually looks like. And then so you have something to compare all my wonderful after shots to down the road. But this is about as full body as I can get. You should see those thighs there, you know, the girls here that are just outrageous. Um, but that's me. And that's all I have to report now. So everybody take care and be well.